All right, so recently I've been suffering in my own success. Well, not my success, but through the discords and the YouTube videos and the first client challenges and everything that we've been doing for the SMMA community recently, we have seen a lot of people get a lot of leads using our outreach frameworks. However, some of these people are struggling to book these leads in for a sales call. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually book appointments from Instagram DMs. Alrighty, if I had to guess, you've probably sent some outreach, you've got some prospects, and they don't book the appointment. Which sucks to suck, but I'm gonna help you, okay? So, before I get into how to you know, actually book appointments in the DMs, and real quick, I'm just gonna show you a little less of me and a little more of what matters here. Let me ask you a question, if you were to go fishing, and you were to cast your line out and you're really, really, really in and then all of a sudden you get a fish on the hook and you're, you're fighting the fish that's coming to the boat and then, you know, right as the, the fish gets to the boat, you got your buddy out there with the net and then all of a sudden, boom, fish gets off the hook. What are you going to do? You're going to jump back in the water after the fish or are you going to cast another line out? Probably going to cast another line out, right? And the same thing happens with our outreach, right? We don't need to be jumping in after the fish that got off. We don't need to chase the one that got away. And so that's why, you know, if you book 10 meetings a day, you wouldn't be worried about the one that got away. However, that doesn't help your situation though, does it? You didn't click on this video to be told to do more outreach because everybody freaking tells you to do that. So I'm going to show you how I go from lead to booked appointment using social media by following three key principles. So principle number one, call your leads. Okay. This is where most of you guys are missing out on lots of dollars. Okay. So Tony Lee, some of you may know him. Some of you may have the pleasure of not knowing him. Anyways, I love you, Tony. But Tony Lee, when I first met the guy, he was making zero dollars. He was a brokey as he referred to himself. 90 days later, he was doing $17,000 month. Here is him flexing in the RSC Discord, and that is a video that he has done with Joel Kaplan. Anyways, the difference between Tony's ability to book appointments and close deals and most people's is that what Tony did is that every single time somebody responded to any of his outreach, he called them up. He spoke to them and he booked the appointment over the phone. And so the first thing that you can do in order to actually book appointments is to phone up and call your leads. Now, you know, you might be wondering, like, how do I get their phone number? Well, use your brain, okay? Search their profile, Google my business, go to their website, like find their phone number somehow, okay? I don't know where it's going to be. Use your brain, find the phone number, okay? That's the first thing you do now. After you have their phone number, you want to call them up and say the following things. First of all, hey, 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 name. Hey, hey, name. This is just your name. Now, I specifically put this is just, just your name so you can downplay yourself, right? We want to downplay yourself because we don't want to increase sales resistance. We want to decrease sales resistance and using language like, oh, this is just Dylan downplays yourself, okay? We connected over Instagram in regards to what you do. Reconnect on Instagram in regards to whatever you just pitched them. Does that ring a bell? Do you it's like you're just asking them if they remember the conversation that you guys just had, which they will. And then after that, you want to follow them up with this. Now, this is a very important thing to ask, and it's what most people do not ask. Okay, okay. Well, do you already have you know whatever it is that you pitched in place, or are you open to hearing ways to possibly get more clients? book more appointments, fill up your gym, fill up your med spa, whatever the heck you are selling, whatever the heck you are pitching. Now, you might be wondering, well, why, Dylan, would I ask this question? This gives the prospect an opportunity to end the call because you're detaching yourself from the sale. And when you detach yourself from the sale and you, you know, leave the door open, your prospects are going to feel much safer, right? If you walked into some guy's house that you didn't know, and the first thing he did was run and shut the door behind you. You'd be a little freaked out, wouldn't you? 
And that is the same thing that happens in sales, right? You want to invite people into our house, but we want to leave the door open in case they do leave because that is just inherently going to build more trust. And the other thing is we don't need to worry because if you're doing things properly, you were just talking to them 30 minutes ago max. So no, they didn't go and hire a marketing agency or build out an entire system in the last 30 minutes. So they obviously are still looking. And the third thing that's going to happen is they are then verbally going to say to themselves, yes, I am open to hearing ways to insert whatever result you are promising them. Okay. After they say that, you say, okay, well, I can tell you a little bit about what I reached out to you for. Okay. Now you want to insert your backstory. Okay. If you do not insert your backstory, if you pitch without telling your backstory, you are swimming upstream. You are fighting a battle that you are likely to lose because they don't know, like, or trust you. They have no idea who you are, right? And the reason why you can sell to your family and friends so easily, but trying to close a cold prospect is like pulling teeth, is because your family and friends already know, like, and trust you. So instead of trying to, you know, fight, swim upstream and pull teeth, trying to close cold prospects, why don't we turn them into our family and friends before we pitch them? That probably is going to work. It does work. I promise you that. And that's why the first thing you want to do is you want to introduce yourself, you know, where you started, where you came from, what you've done, the journey you're on. I have an entire in-depth guide on how to do this a video. I'll link it in the description, how to write your own story, how to make it compelling, even if you're a boring individual. Okay. After you've set the frame, you've introduced your backstory, you can talk about your service delivery. Okay. This is when you give high level overviews as to what it is that you do, right? You don't want to get into the nitpicky things. You want to use things such as kind of like bridges that make it easy for your prospect to understand what you do, right? Because most of the time you're going to be calling up people who have no idea what go high level is. They have no idea how to run a Facebook ad. A lot of times they don't even know how to log into their own Facebook account without calling their son right? They have to call their grandson or their son just to remember, you know, how to turn on the TV, right? So how do we expect them to know what a funnel is? They don't. So that is why instead of saying, oh, we run Facebook ads to lead forms and we do this for realtors, you say, yeah, so we're going to place some ads and it's kind of like, you know, bus mention ad, you know, bus mention ads are realtors going to be like, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like placing a bunch best ad, but instead of putting it on the street, we're going to put it on people's phones, people that live in your area's phones. And then the people that respond to those bus bench ads, we're basically just going to filter them, filter them out. The ones that are kind of interested, the ones that are kind of not interested and the ones that are like actually serious, we're going to get those people in contact with you, right? Anybody could understand that. That's such a better way to deliver an explanation on your service delivery then oh we run facebook ads and we go into go high level and then we have an automated prospecting thing that da, 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 buzzwords that they don't care because a confused buyer will not buy and if you confuse your prospects you're done okay so after you've given a brief explanation on what you do and you've made it very simple for your prospects to understand you ask them does that sound like it, like it could potentially help your business, right? You want to use neutral terms, potentially. Remember, we are on the first date. We're on the first conversation, not even the first date. We're on the first conversation with our prospects. And if you were to go to a girl or a boy and whatever, a freaking who knows what you're talking to nowadays. Anyways, if you were to go to this individual that you wanted to marry, right? Would you say the same things to somebody that you're in a six-year relationship with as somebody who you just met, as somebody who is in a six-year relationship, the answer is no. You do not make the same jokes. You don't say the same things to a girl that you've been with for six years as a girl that you've talked to for six seconds. It's just how things work. And that is why in the beginning of our conversation with our prospects, we want to be very neutral and very, you know, like very easy to talk to. That's the easiest way to put it, okay? After they say, yes, this does sound like you could potentially help my business. Awesome, let's schedule in a Zoom call and boom, you just booked an appointment, okay? Now, if you want the full guide on how to write your story, click the link in the description. I've got a video on that to show you that. Now, the second thing 
that you must do if you want to actually book appointments is to position yourself as a problem solver. Okay? Prospects say more info. Right? They're one, they, you know, they, they ask, can you send me more info? How does the system work? Anything like that. And what do most of you say? Oh, well, we run Facebook ads and we do go high level and we do TikTok and we do Instagram. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Okay? People do not buy features. They buy better lives. If we tell our prospects what we do, they're going to ghost you because if you tell your prospect that you run Facebook ads, well, guess what? You're the 17th person that's told them that this week. And so what makes you any different? Okay? Therefore, we need to position ourselves as problem solvers, which is where the personalized introduction comes into play. Okay? So if I am talking to a prospect and you are talking to a prospect and you say, oh, well, I do Facebook ads and I say, oh, well, I get you a consistent stream of clients so you never have to worry about where your next dollar is coming from. Who is going to win that conversation? Even if I'm running Facebook ads. And that is what the personalized introduction is at a very high level. It's positioning ourselves as a problem solver. And a simple way to do that is to follow this formula. You know how gyms, you know how niche can sometimes struggle with the problems that they struggle with. What problems does your niche struggle with? I don't know. I'm not in your niche. You got to do some research. Go into Facebook groups, go into Reddit, go into social media, find out what the deep problems that your niche is struggling with and insert it in here. Then you can say, well, I help niche through whatever system that you have, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok, like whatever it is, so they can benefit, like how it, imp and then you say, which means how it impacts their life. So I help gym owners through North American sales reps so they can, you know, consistently fill up their new, uh, consistently fill up their calendars, which means they don't have to worry about empty classes anymore, which means they don't have to worry about having to make payroll again then the last thing that you can do is ask them a question. And so many times if we're in the DMs, the question is, would you be open to continuing this conversation over Zoom? Okay, you wanna ask them to take the next step. Another example of this is, you know how real estate agents struggle with the ups and downs of inconsistent listings, unqualified prospects, and systems to streamline their business operations. What we do is help realtors set up a streamlined process so they can attract new clients, so they can focus on serving people that want to work with them instead of chasing down people who don't. Tell me, have you been in the industry long? You see how that sounds a lot better than, oh, well, I run Facebook ads and I generate leads. Exactly, okay? Principle number three. Use video messages. Who would you rather jump on a call with? Think about it, okay? They have no idea who you are. You are this guy when you DM them, okay? We want to become this guy. And how do we become this guy? Well, we can use video messages messages. So your prospects do not know you and they do not trust you. Rightfully so. You're a random guy or girl who just hit them up on Instagram out of the blue. Okay. So they're also not going to take any future steps with you until they know and or trust you. So therefore we can leverage video messages to increase our familiarity that we have with our prospects. Okay. And if you can't make phone calls for whatever reason, maybe you're in a country where you can't call. I know that you guys are, you know, the text now and like all that kind of stuff. I've never used it, but I see this in the discords and stuff or whatever the case may be. Whatever reason, if you can't make phone calls, phone calls are the best thing that you could possibly do. Get over the fear, make 10 phone calls and you won't be scared to make your 11th. Anyways, then your next best option is to pitch your Zoom call over a video, okay? Kind of can look like this. Hey Alex, it's Dylan. I'm the one that's been messaging you in the DMs. I appreciate you getting back to me. I just want to let you know, show my face a little bit. I guess you could say I left university. Um, I've been going all in on my business. I'm three months into it. It's been the most fulfilling. And I've you know, honestly just been waking up every day, excited to get after it and excited to mainly just learn as like an individual. Like that's probably the biggest thing that I've taken away. But you know, as I, you know, obviously reached out to you because I love a lot of the things that you've got going on. 
um, and I would love, you know, to help you guys get X amount of results. You know, I have no interest in, you know, charging you a dollar. I'm just in the world of networking, shaking hands. I need to, you know, I'm trying to build a name for myself. And if I can provide, you know, 10x the amount of value that you give me, uh, that would mean everything to me. So if you want, we can continue this conversation over a quick little Zoom call. And I can kind of share you about, you know, what I've been working on and how I can help you. Okay. So, if you want to avoid the hundred of mistakes that cost me years and thousands of dollars, I have a couple solutions for you. Number one, we have the RSC First Client Challenge, which, as of the recording, this video is closed. Sucks to suck, but we're probably going to open up soon. Anyways, it's a free program that gets new SMMA owners their first client. Right now, the first group, the average guy who's getting their first client in 13.8 days. I think that was pretty good. I was pretty impressed. Another thing that we have is the RSC Discord community. And twice a week, I hop on a call, spend an hour of my time, and answer all your guys' questions. Okay? So if you want to participate in any of those, links will be in the description. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I, I hope that the time that you spent watching this video, uh, I reciprocated the value at least 10x and if that is the case hit the subscribe button and drop a comment and let me know what other questions that you guys have that i can answer for you guys in this video